In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, today I want to talk about something very interesting. And that is, you can say the right hand man or the pet of the Jeb, however you want to call it, I'll let you decide. I'm going to read the Arabic and do the translation and then discuss some things about this. So, what, or you can call it a tool of the Jad also. So what you're going to learn is, there's a very famous hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that in hadith literature has been sometimes called hadith al-jassasa. Okay, it's been called hadith jassasa, or sometimes it has been called the hadith of Tamim al-Dari. Okay, so it has these, this hadith has these two names. Now, there was a Christian person who became Muslim who went to an island after this particular incident that I'm going to talk about. And then he, there, he met, before he met Dajjal, he met Jassasa. So we're going to talk about Jassasa today. What is Jassasa? What does Jassasa mean? Now, mind you, when the Muhaddisin in the previous centuries were writing about this hadith, they didn't have the technology we had today. So when you look at this word with the technology of today, your understanding will expand more than what the scholars of the previous times wrote. And I'll tell you what the scholars of the previous time wrote, and then you'll be able to see how this all connects. The Prophet said, I'm going to read from my phones. So, uh, he, the Prophet said, after he had gathered, the Adhan was given, people came to the masjid. He said, look, it's not for prayers, but I have something important to tell you. Inni wallahi ma jama'atukum li rahbatan. وَلَا لِرَحْبَةٍ لِرَحْبَةٍ وَلَا رَحْبَةٍ I have not called you here to give you, you know, uh, sermons to incite your heart or to give you some sort of warning. This is not the reason I've called you here today. Then the Prophet, وَلَكِنْ جَمَعْتُكُمْ لِأَنَّ تَمِيمْ الدَّارِ I have brought you here today because of Tamim al-Dari, this man, Tamim al-Dari, right? كَانَ رَجُلٌ He was a man Nasraniyan, he was a Christian man. And over here is something interesting. That when it comes to the end of times, there may be space for Christians and Muslims to work together on the issue of ends of end of times. Kana Nasraniyan Faja'a. So he came to me now after hearing what the Jal told him in in the in the place he was. We're only going to read this first part of this hadith. So so he came and gave me bayar wa aslama and he accepted Islam. Wahaddathani and the Prophet said he has told me some things. Wahaddathani hadithan. He told me mentioning of things. Wafiqan aladhi kuntu ahdathukum. The things that I was telling you that were in agreement with that, he told me some things that agreed with the things I had been telling you. About what? An Masihud Dijjal. So this is the person of Dijjal. Masihud Dijjal. An Masihud Dijjal. Haddathani annahu rakiba fi safina. He went on a ship and then what happened? Falaiba bihim mawjun shahran fi bahar. So for a month they were lost in the sea. So then they came إلى Jazira. Okay, then they came to a Jazira. They came to an island. What island this is very important, interesting. You'll see. I'm not going to talk about what island this is today. إلى الجزيرة في بحر حتى مغرب الشمس. Now those of you that know the Quran in Surah Al-Kahf, حتى مغرب الشمس is the exact words in Surah Al-Kahf. Until the place where the sun went down. That could be any place. The sun goes down anywhere, right? But this is an island. I'm not going to talk about the island today. But they came to this island. So, the, so this man, Tamim al darmi he accepted Islam. He's telling the Prophet this story. What happened is he was in the ocean. He was lost for a month. He went towards uh, this place uh, where there's an island. And now he comes to this island. And now guess what he sees? So now he comes to this place. Jazira. So they entered this island, right? Falaqitahum Dabba. They met some animal. Ahlab. This animal had so much hair, right? Ay Ghalidu 
shower. He was just hair from beginning to the end. كثير الشعر لا يدركون ما قبله وما دبر دبره من من دبره. You couldn't tell what's his front from his دبر من دبره from his back. من من كثير الشعر. فقال فقالوا we said يا ويلك. What's wrong with you? ما أنت what are you? ما أنت what are you? فقالت and she said أنا جساسة I am جساسة and then جساسة says that this man is waiting for you his and basically his the جال was waiting and wanting yearning he's مشتاقون he's he wants to meet you so after that. They went and met the jad. But over here, they said, Who are you? I am Jassasa. I'm Jassasa. So why is this hadith known as Jassasa? Because they said this is the one who would give you information about the jad. Because Jassasa means, if any of you know Urdu language, Jasus means to spy. In Surah Al Hujrat, Allah says, Don't spy. So, there is this animal, has no beginning, has no end, the name is Jassasa. What is it that's all wires today and can be used for spying? Right? So this is the, you could say, the tool of the Dajjal, the animal of the Dajjal, the pet of the Dajjal, the right hand man of the Dajjal. For example, there's another hadith, a uh, very authentic hadith. The Dajjal, when he comes, he will say to a man, look, Believe in me, I will bring back your mom and dad to you. And the the Jan will bring back that person's mother and father, and he'll think he will think that the mother and father are back, but in fact they will not be back. So where will the Jan get this information from? Is it possible that this Jasasa is one of its many dimensions are because the Jan will be an expert at spying. And he will have all the information of your Facebook accounts. He'll have all the information of your Instagram accounts. Have all the information of your emails. Everything about you. That when you die, your children will be told. But he could tell your children this and this about your dad and this and this about your mom. Jasasa means Jasus means Jasasa is the uh, the one who is doing the spying. And we know surveillance. If you look at Britain, the CCTV cameras are all over the whole island. Uh, interestingly enough, that one of the very valid interpretations of this island that it's England for many reasons, which I'm not going to go into, which has the most CCT cameras. Every person is seen in a CCT camera at least 18, 19 times a day. So the Jad will be an expert at getting information. And the Dajjal will be an expert, and I'll share something with you very personal. Share something with you, something a little bit personal. I don't usually talk about my life stories or people around me. Sheikh, one, there's a Sheikh in Texas. Uh, <coughs> he does Ruqya, deals with jinns, right? Sheikh Shakib is his name. He's from Somalia. He does, one of the things that he does is he deals with the jinn world. And one of the things me and him have discussed, because we were, we, we're working for the same foundation at one time. Um, one of the things that we've discussed is we've come to know through different cases of the shayateen and different cases of the jinns, we have personally come to know that sometimes technology plays a role. I knew one sister, right? She would be on the internet and she would end up on an online Hindu temple for no reason at all. She would just end up in the online Hindu temple and she wouldn't know why. So. These websites, sometimes we have the feeling that some of these websites, they have certain type of, you could say, shayateen working behind them. If you go to a certain website, then there's a certain type of something, shaitan, that's working on people. And especially people that already have magic on, that, on them, they already have magic or already have sahar or already have a jinn bothering them. Then especially those websites even become more active. So anyway, the point I'm trying to make... Uh, is this, is that Jassasa is the tool of shaitan, it is the pet of shaitan, or uh, sorry, it is the tool of the Dajjal. The Dajjal will have every sort of information on everyone, which is another reason 
why you will have to if you want to be away from the away from his attacks, away from his fitan, right? You're going to have to disassociate yourself from that world that he's going to create. Ya'juj and Ma'juj, the European world, so to say, will set the stage for Dajjal to come. And how that happens, I'm not going to go into right now. But this tool of Jassasa, the tools that have already been made that can then have all the information about you, have, can spy on you, look at you from satellites, look at you from your Facebook accounts, have every access, you know nowadays when you go to a store, let's say if you went to 7-Eleven or you went to Walmart, you come out of Walmart and ask, how was your you know, experience at Walmart? Google will ask, right? So they already have a data set of probably almost anybody that's been on the internet, some data set of their preferences, of their values, something of their privacy. It's already, that system of jasus is already, that system that the Jal will use, the system of jasus is already set there. But maybe it will even go to other levels that are even unimaginable today. In the next 10 years, technology can be at a whole different level, right? Where, uh, and I don't want to go into that right now, but this is definitely at least the beginning of Jassasa. The beginning of an animal that has no beginning, no end, and it's all hair. Remind you of something? It's called the internet. So the internet is here to stay. And the internet may be one of the major tools of the jet. And that internet will be used to get information on us so that our children will be fooled in the future or uh, something of this nature, right? Allahu alam. Allah knows best because we can't guess. But what we can guess is this. We can guess that he will be a master at spying. He will be a master at spying. His pet will be his dabba. His animal will be just sasa. He will be an expert at spying at people. And so I'll leave you with this thought for today that uh, some research needs to be done. Where is the spying intelligence, you know, whether it is the NSA or whatever, where is this world of spying going, right? By the way, I believe uh, spying radically started in England, okay, which is interesting, by the way, the, you know, uh, the MI5 and all of that, um, but I'm not going to go into that right now. So, like us, subscribe to us, and comment uh, and, and share any research you may have on this topic. So let's share and grow together. Jazakumullah khairan. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, like my channel. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you liked this. Assalamu alaikum.